being in love and being infatuated can be can be confusing. It can be really easy to confuse the two. You know that you're in love when you truly feel like you can see a future with that person. So when you sit back and project and you look at yourself down the road, do you see her with you? Do you see her in that picture? Or is it me, me, me? Or me and someone else? So that's a good exercise you need to do. When you sit back and you project, you, you look at yourself, or you think of yourself five, ten years down the road, do you see her with you, with you in that picture? Or, or do you feel her presence in that picture? Do you? Or do you just sense it as more of you going at, a, going at it alone, possibly with someone else? That's one of the best ways to tell if you're in love or infatuated. If you see her with you, feel her with you, then there's a good chance you're in love with her and not infatuated. Also, if you notice that when you talk, when, when she's with you and you're around your friends, your family, whoever, you notice that you're protective of her. In other words, if people say stuff about her that may not necessarily be complimentary, maybe off the cuff, not really realizing it, you tend to have her back, you tend to defend her, or you find yourself constantly pushing her up or pulling her up when you're around people, your friends and your family, you, you keep essentially focusing on her good points. Did you, do you know what Katie did the other day? She did this, this, and this, and this. She's so amazing. And you may be doing this without even noticing it, that you're really pumping her up. You're, you're, you're making her look really good around the people when you guys are around the people you care about. If you notice that you do this, then there's a very good chance that you're in love with her and not just infatuated. Because that means that you have a respect for her that is beyond infatuation. That means she, in some ways, has improved has made you feel it compliments you in some way so that you feel like wow when I'm around her I feel that I need to get myself better or make myself better because she's so amazing another way that you can tell that you're in love with her and not just infatuated is if you notice that you tend to really put certain things on hold that you otherwise would have done in normal circumstances when you're with someone who you just infatuated with initially all right, you guys would do stuff together and maybe you sacrifice certain excursions or certain deeds, but after a while you get into the relationship and you stop sacrificing so much. In other words, the person is no longer that great of a priority. If you notice that you're still sacrificing, maybe sacrificing big time with your friends, time that the both of you maybe would have, uh, you and your friends would have spent watching the game or playing a video game or watching the big football game, or going out and seeing the car show, or hanging out wherever, you sacrifice that time or cut it short so that you can be with her. And not just to be with her in an intimate way, in a sexual way, but just be with her, just hang out with her in a normal way as couples would do. Not necessarily doing anything intimate or sexual or anything like that, just hanging out. If you notice that you're doing that, then there's a very good chance you're in love. Now, it can be easy to... to, to to suspect that this is infatuation, but I'm saying that this is typic this typically does not, if it's infatuation, this may happen initially, but it does not persist. So if you've been with her a few months or so down the road, eventually you're not going to be putting her in the priority list as much. But if you're still in, if you're truly in love with her, she will still be a priority and you will be finding yourself sacrificing certain things just to be around them, just to hang out, and that's it. Also, another way you know that you're in love and not infatuated is how you address her, how you address her. And I'm not just talking about calling her baby, baby and honey and stuff like that. When you address her, you address her with a, a certain level of not just reverence and respect, but you address her with a certain level of, hey, this is just between the two of us. So you're not just going to be calling her generic honey baby, baby names and stuff like that. You will find yourself sharing stuff with her that just the, the both of you would know about. So, for example, maybe the both of you are out and about, and something happens, and you go, "Hmm, this reminds me of you," and you call her a particular name based upon what happened, what you guys just saw, and she starts laughing because it's an inside joke between the two of you. So, in essence, the both of you start sharing inside names that are not just the norm, not just the honey baby, and you start sharing inside jokes. The stuff that only the both of you would know about. 
when you start experiencing those intimate moments together, when you're out and about or hell, even together in private, and you start laughing about that stuff because only the both of you would know about that. Boom. You know that you're in love and you're not just infatuated with them because now they've gotten to a place where you feel this level of comfort with them that you can share these intimate moments.